Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am sitting here at Sam's Club waiting to pick up my order. It's time for month-long grocery shopping. Getting a very early start this morning. Um, Jason and I attended the Midwest Prayer Breakfast at Frederick Meyer Gardens today. It was lovely. Um, so we did that at like 7.30 and now it is like 9.30 and I'm here ready to pick up my Sam's Club order. As always, I'm pressed for time because we have to get back for a track meet this afternoon up north. So here we go. We're gonna get everything done, all the groceries we need for a month, and then I will take you home and show you what I got. Okay, we made it back home after many hours. Let's get right into it because it's actually warmer today and I need to get the groceries into the refrigerator and the freezers. So let's start with Sam's Club. All right, this is gonna seem very drink heavy because it is. We got some buy drinks. I enjoy these, the kids do as well. We've been out of Kleenex for like two weeks now. Steamable Brock frozen broccoli pellets. These body armor lights are also good. I much prefer them to like a Gatorade or something. Zevia, which I get every single month. These are Jericho's Protein Chocolate Milks. And the reason I got so many drinks is because we are away from home a lot right now with ball games and stuff. And so we don't do the concession stand or whatever. This is a much more economical way to do it. So that's why there are so many drinks. I didn't know if you knew this, but you can get stamps from Sam's Club Pickup. So they always label them so cute, I think, and they tell you where they are in your grocery haul. These are really good um, crackers that I enjoy having with chicken salad or tuna salad sometimes. I was getting low in my chicken broth down in my storage room. Giant thing of pancake mix for Jalea and Jericho. I just figured like, it's not the healthiest, but um, they really enjoy making pancakes and don't do it very often. So. Got that, got some body wash and some toothpaste. Both of those things were on sale. Some sliced cheese and I did price it out and this is cheaper than buying sliced cheese at Aldi. I've never gotten this before but I thought it would be a good um, thing to make like homemade Lunchables when we're packing our dinners and stuff. We all really like these beef hot dogs. They're like the giant ones that they sell at the cafe in Sam's Club. And I will use these quite often like for a sheet pan dinner. I got some salami. We really like this thin salami. Two things of sharp cheddar cheese. That's what I use for shredded cheese. Some hot dogs. I still have quite a bit of this in the refrigerator, but they like never go bad. And this was really on sale, which I really like to dip vegetables in this cheese. That's very good. Some little mini cucumbers. I prefer the ones with the shells on them. Um, but for like packing and taking places, I just went ahead and got these. And these are just a more inexpensive option than almonds or cashews. So I just decided to go with those this month. Julia really likes these peanut butter filled pretzels and I try to get the kids each something that they really enjoy from Sam's Club. Three giant bags of tortilla chips. Those are the kind that we like and that seems to be about how many we go through because we do use them for quite a few dinners. These were new to me so I thought the girls would like those for their school lunches. Doritos and then this is what I got Jericho. He really likes the spicy sweet chili Doritos. It was time to get some more butter. I still have a lot in the freezer, but I've been taking a lot out without replenishing it. So I did not want to go through all my butter. This big thing of sour cream, we go through one of those a month. Some Brussels sprouts. I'm trying something new for Delia and Jericho for lunches. These are little individual pizzas, and I thought that they would like to do these in the air fryer. Um, they were just getting kind of sick of the flatbread pizzas that we make, so I thought that would be a good idea. Raspberries were a phenomenal deal today. This entire pack was $2.50 something, I think. 
Sam's Club grapes. I don't know where they get them from, but they are the absolute best. Two things of cream cheese. We go through about one of these a month, but I like to have an extra on hand. Cheez-Its, all three of the kids really like those. Goldfish, all three of the kids like those. Actually, I don't think Jericho likes those. Three half and halves and one heavy whipping cream. That's about what I go through in my coffee a month. And then I use this for different recipes. And let's see, a bag of water softener salt. And I think that's everything from Sam's Club. I went to Menards this month because there were a couple things on my list. Um, sadly, they were out of the popcorn that I like to get there. Um, and something else. I can't remember what else. But they did have what I was looking for, which I'm pretty excited about. So let me show you what I got at Menards today. All right. First of all is this bucket spin mop. This is the kind that Go Clean Co. uses if you follow them on Instagram. And I've been wanting to try this forever. I have a Norwex mop that works perfectly fine. I just hate um, rinsing it out like in the sink. I would rather have a bucket. So we'll see what I think about that. Then I got some items for Jericho's birthday, which are already hidden away. These are my favorite sunflower seeds that will go right in my softball baseball bag. This is what I use to flavor my homemade salsa. And I like to get stuff like this like during the off season and then when I'm ready to can, I'm not like running for weird stuff like this. I just always have it in my canning bin and the pantry. This is actually what I was going to Menards for. So this was on clearance for $2. It is a 14 ounce package. And it is a blend of erythritol, allulose, stevia, and monk fruit. I like all of those sweeteners a lot. And so I like to do half sugar, half sugar replacement in some recipes. Um, just, you know, so like it tastes like sugar, but then you're like cutting down on the sugar as well. So I got five of those. I would have gotten more but some of the packages were pretty crystallized. So I kind of went through and picked out the ones that weren't, these are all like perfectly fine. So very excited to find that deal. All right, now on to Meyer. Um, I try to spend like $100 at Meyer. Shopping was weird today though. I don't know, every store that I went into besides Menards, um, had huge gaping holes on their shelves again and stuff that I couldn't find in like any, like I could not find sesame oil in any grocery store. So I don't know. It's very strange. So I got what I could. I do still have probably 10 to 12 items that I'm just going to have to keep on my list. And if I, you know, when I go back in two weeks, if I can try to find that, um, maybe they will be restocked, but don't know what's going on. So here is Meyer. All right, this is the only kind of tortellini that they had. So much more expensive than I would have normally gotten, but I didn't want to change my menu. So, um, and then, oh, there are some weird ingredients here because I had random coupons. So like I had a really good coupon for this butter, like a dollar 25 off a pack of butter. I will take a dollar 25 off a pack of butter. Same thing with water chestnuts for the coupon. These were on sale. I got those for myself. I needed peppermint tea. The girls really like these to put in bottled water for school. I needed this seasoning for some butter chicken, the recipe that I'm making. Petite diced tomatoes. Aldi just doesn't carry petite diced tomatoes and I prefer those. Thing, same thing with pinto beans. Um, the ones at Aldi are much more expensive because they're organic in this size can and I don't care about that. So I got those at Meijer. Beef consomme was a really good deal and I use this in a couple of different recipes. The newest recipe is a beefy onion rice that is delicious. That makes a really good side dish. Two little teeny tiny avocados. These were like 50 cents a piece, but this is the perfect size for avocado toast. 
for Jalea and I in the morning. Same thing with one random thing of beans. I had a coupon. Journey really likes these for your lunches. I got some Envy apples. There was a really good deal on this deodorant that I like. Um, I actually use this kind and so does Jason. Um, this, I think it's this lavender. No, maybe it's this one. I think it's this one that smells like a girl deodorant, which is weird, but the other two smell like a men's deodorant. Anyway, there was like $5 off if you bought three of them. So I like to stay stocked up on stuff like that. Got some yum yum sauce for some fried rice that we're having. Had a 50% cute or 50 cents off coupon for this. This is specifically for white softball pants. I know if you have baseball players or softball players, the white pants are a chore. So I'm hoping this helps with that. I got two things of unbleached all-purpose flour. I had just been using my bread flour for everything, um, but I my recipes are like not like baked um, like desserts are not turning out the same. And so it's either this or it's the cane sugar I've been using. So I got regular flour, regular sugar, just for the desserts I make. Everything else, the bread flour is totally fine. Got some feminine products, some bone-in chicken thighs. These are for the grill. They're delicious on the grill. And then under here are some um, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Those were $1.99 a pound, which I haven't seen that price in quite a while. I have squished bread right here. This is Jason's favorite bread, and I have not been able to get it from Sam's in a really long time. One pack of hot dog buns for the chili dogs that we're going to make with the giant hot dogs from Sam's Club. Found some stragglers. This goes with the Sam's Club haul, so it's time for more paper plates. And this I had a really good coupon for, 50% off at Meijer. So um, just a 24 pack of big water bottles. Last section is Aldi. And then I gotta put all this away. Starting down here with produce, we have some zucchini and some mushrooms. This is for the Instapot hibachi steak that I like to make. Cilantro, um, iceberg lettuce, I really like wraps in this that's we don't really do it as salad i like to wrap my burgers and like i'm gonna have a sandwich wrap i will do that some mini peppers one of my favorite lunches is to cut open the pepper fill it with that laughing cow cheese and then wrap salami around it super delicious throw like a banana pepper or a pickle in there so yummy cosmic crisp apples Two things of hard shell tacos. The kids just really enjoy these oatmeal cream pies. Sparkling water. One thing of the little small waters, which are nice to grab sometimes, um, just for different things when you don't want a giant water bottle. Some individual packs of cookies for lunches. And I like for Journey that this brand that they do is they're all school friendly so I like that for the tree nut allergy. Some Ritz crackers, some granola bars. I wish that Sam's would come back with their variety pack of granola bars but until they do we'll be getting those. Two things of cream of chicken, one thing of Monterey Jack, one thing of mozzarella. Jason and I really like these snacking cheeses. I did already bust one open and have two in the car because I was starving. Um, I went back to this ham. It does have car carrageenan in it, which I do not love. The kids didn't like the, the ham from Sam's Club. So um, they don't eat very much of it, so I'm okay with a little bit of that. Crinkle cut fries, tater tots, seasoned fries. Tater tots are for a recipe. Shredded hash browns are for a recipe. The popcorn chicken and the fries are for the kids' air fryer lunch that they do once in a while. Boneless, skinless chicken thighs, that's for a recipe. I can't remember. That might be for the butter chicken. 
And then a big pack of ground turkey. I will divide that in half and use it for buffalo, um, chicken, sloppy joes, and something else. I don't remember what else I'm using it for. Two things of eggs, whole plain Greek yogurt. This is for making homemade naan bread. One devil's food cake mix. And if you have never tried any of the baking mixes from Aldi, they're really, really good. Jericho wants chocolate cake um, with white buttercream frosting for his birthday, which is coming up. And then two of our favorite brownie mixes. These are the best brownie mixes. So, so delicious. Got one thing of just the regular really fine sugar, like I said, for my desserts. Because the cane sugar... I don't know, it crystallizes weird or something. So I don't know. Um, and I'm making chocolate chip cookies for the school. So I wanted it to turn out right. Um, three things of the Aldi Pringles. All the kids will write their names on top. So nobody gets anybody else's. Whole line of chips and pretzels back here. The girls had wanted French onion dip and wavy chips. Aldi did not have French onion dip, they, which they always have, which is very strange. So I will have to add that to my list and get that when I see it. One box of crap cereal for each kid. We are trying to do Friday night family night with dessert. That's about the only night that we have dessert. And so I got all three of the kids for an easy one, their favorite ice cream. Journeys is mint chocolate chip. Julia's is butter pecan, and Jericho's is chocolate chip. So, waffles for Julia. She just always requests those. Some more syrup. This is my favorite way to do iced coffee drinks. I do not love Starbucks as a company. All the other like cold brews and stuff that I've tried are way too acidic for me. This is the only one that I can, that my body can stand. Soy sauce, I was low down in food storage. Two things of milk because I won't be going back to the grocery store for two weeks. Vinegar, white vinegar, which I use in everything. And I just have to say, I hate this package so much. This is supposed to be the handle that you like pour it with. I mean, I use this for the laundry, so I'm probably saving my old bottles and dumping this into the old bottles is probably what I'm gonna do because I hate this packaging so much. Um, magic erasers, I've, I use all different kinds of magic erasers. They all work the same in my opinion. Completely out of sandwich bags, getting low on plastic wrap. We've been out of paper towel for a little while now. This will last us like at least four months probably. I only go through maybe a roll a month, maybe. Did I get to the end? I think I got to the end. My total was 182 even. And I remember that because the cashier guy was like, hey, you're my second one today. That's been like an even <laughs> number, um, which I have not spent two, under $200 at Aldi in a really long time. So I'm very pleased with what I got this time. All right, that's gonna do it for me. I'm very, very tired. Um, we were at that prayer breakfast at like 7.15 this morning, like 30 minutes away. So it's been a very early start to the day. Um, so I'm going to get some help putting all this away. And then I'm going to relax before we go to a track meet. And don't mind the overflowing dishes from like two days that I haven't gotten to. Hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>